Gosh, I was just out running errands today and I ran into my new friend Jonathan here who recognized me from a video we made seven years ago with Iraq Veterans Against the War for Winter Soldier Iraq and Afghanistan when a bunch of veterans came together to testify about our experiences and Jonathan here was smart enough to learn from the mistakes of others and has a little message he'd like to share with you. Well, I was going to join the Marine Corps um, because I thought they were badass, you know, first to fight, all that good stuff. Um, my dad was in the Marines and my best friend is a Marine right now. Um, and I came, I did a lot of research um, and I came across Adam's video and it really spoke to me and I decided not to. And as a result, he is alive and well and doesn't have PTSD. Nope. And uh, doesn't have any of the other negative experiences that go along with, you know, um, killing for politicians, moral mm -hmm. qualms, destroyed lives, nope. guilty conscience, none of that because he was able to learn from the mistakes of others. But for all the other activists out there, I just want to show how this demonstrates that when you tell the truth in a powerful way that others are afraid to tell, like back in, in the day when people were really afraid to speak out against the war in Iraq still, mm -hmm. especially veterans, when you have a compelling truth to share that can improve people's lives, you got to do it because it can have a positive ripple effect that can go on for years. And it's just getting this kind of feedback mm -hmm. from a stranger just running into a new friend yeah. is just an amazing experience. So if you got something powerful to say or to do or share with the world, get out and do it. And as long as it comes from the heart, as long as it's authentic and you know, people will respond to it. 